Absolutely, both these bots have done very, very well. Uh, there's just not a lot you can do when you have to face waterproof sealant. All right, it's fight, robots, fight. Fight, robots, fight, okay. So from Hedda, you can see, is the smaller looking of the two, smaller profile of the two. Ankle grinder has that big wedge in the back, really pretty design on it. And they are really searching for the low ground here. Oh, it is so loud. It sounds like a jet in there, Kyle. Nobody really has the low ground advantage here. Both of these wedges pretty close to the floor. As close as you can be safely in a plywood box, for sure. The big thing that they're looking for here is can can Ankle Grinder capitalize on Prime Heda gyroing up, and can they get underneath that robot at the right time? Yeah, that seems to be the game that they're trying to play right now with just two minutes and seven seconds left in this match. I haven't seen any real weapon-to-weapon -weapon contact or any contact at all except for wedge-to-wedge. -wedge. Ankle grinder is basically glued to the floor. Yeah, they're not moving anywhere. And and if they could be, if they could remain closer to their opponents, they may be able to capitalize on some of these moments. Yeah, hard to do. They're Here just we not, go. There we go. Oh, very close there. We almost saw a hit, but not quite. We're seeing good driving from Pramheda, though, and that they they are able to... Oh, Whoa! here we go! That was the first big pop in this match, 90 seconds in. And now that wedge on Ankle Grinder is not going to do anything. Oh, Literally that wedge is looking bad. Wow, nice big hits from Pramheda. Pramheda just being patient at the beginning of this fight. That's bent! Wow. That bottom plate is completely bent. Tap, tap out. out. There is a winner now. Ankle Grinder it loses. They have tapped out. Brown Hedda moves on. What a fight. So Prom Hedda will go on to face Demi Gorgon. As he wins.